How's it going everybody? I am Dean with GTO and today we're looking at the Weapon Trigger Panzer IV, the tier the tier 9 German tank destroyer in the Grail 15 line. This is a vehicle which I I've had my garage here for a while now, but I've just been gradually working through the modules trying to get the top guns guns unlocked on this thing. Because I do intend on unlocking the 15 centim uh, I do intend on unlocking the 15 centimeter E100 gun on this thing as well. Because the E100 gun just seems like an interesting gun option for this machine. Because if you're using the 15 centimeter gun, I think your shell speed and things like that there gets substantially worse, and so does your uh, accuracy as well. But it just seems like an interesting gun to, to be able to use. And yeah, first shot of the game into like real 15's tracks. Unfortunately, the ISU behind me missed his shot, which means he still actually has a substantial amount of health left for the rest of the game. So he could come back to be a bit of a pain in the ass later. So, up oh, and yet again, T54 Mod 1. Can't be a wee bit laggy there, did you see that? Like how he was just kind of like sort of, <laughs> it was kind of like he was stationary for a second, he was just kind of like moving forward just like progressively, it was, that was a bit strange looking. Uh, but yeah, man to kneel the shot into that T54 Mod 1, taking off 560 of his, his health as well. And now there's a TV, TVP 5051, and yeah, 640 of his health. Like, this gun here, it's the same gun the Ag Tiger uses with a slightly different name. This gun is phenomenal. Like, it's honestly one of the best guns just in general at tier 9 in my opinion and yeah that shot there I think was more on me than it was on the gun. I didn't lead that properly and because I didn't lead it properly it just went nowhere near where I needed it to go. So this TVP is running away now I'm trying to just guess the lead on here and straight into his rear, straight into like the rear part of his tank there. So yeah once you get used to this thing's lead this gun is absolutely incredible. Like the accuracy and the aiming time on this gun in comparison to the Ag Tiger's version is better but it actually has a slightly slower rate of fire. Now the Ag Tiger can also use improved ventilation as well, which will improve its rate of fire even further. So the Ag Tiger does have the uh, rate of fire advantage and it does have way more armor than this thing, but this thing does have, overall I'd say a slightly better mobility and I'd say having the full turret is an incredible advantage that this thing has. But I do think that the Ag Tiger in a lot of ways is a slightly better tank than this thing because it does have better gun depression overall as well because this thing only gets 5 degrees in comparison to the 7.5 the Ag Tiger gets. So Object 257 got shot into me there with an AP round. I just noticed that there now because I'm pretty sure the Object 257's top gun uses APCR rounds and that was the worst moment that guy, go, that guy could have gone down a, cr a crest for me there because he literally just went down the crest and that perfectly angled his his uh, driver's hatch armor for my gun just to bounce clean off of him there. That was like the most unfortunate timing that could have possibly happened there against that S3 because if I hit him nearly anywhere else I would have pinned him there but <sighs> we think it's going to happen from time to time in this game where you're like you're ready to get a big shot into someone and then they just happen to just move a little bit and it completely throws off your shot and your shot goes nowhere near where you needed it to go. Try a shot to the wall there to see if I could get the IS-3, but unfortunately didn't go where I needed to. Oh, well, actually I'm actually I'm actually not even 100% sure I even had a shot that guy if I'm honest, because I was just trying to like, just trying to guess to see if I could remove that guy's gun from the game. And I get shot into that Ram Patel Borsig way off in the background there. He's definitely using the 15 centimeter gun, you can tell by the length of the barrel. And now this object 430 is getting ready to move around and yeah. You can see there the shell speed on this gun. <laughs> I've mentioned it already, but the shell speed on this gun is absolutely incredible. And, well, this TVP has decided to come and mess with this IS-3. I got shot in him, finish him off. TVP managed to do no damage to the IS-3 from what I've seen there. And we can now see that they have an OHO, an Object 277, and a Conway up there. And just judging this based off of the map, I'm pretty sure I go for a shot on this Conway. Oh, actually, you see a silhouette for a split second and just fire the shot off just as quickly as I possibly can. And managed to nail him as well. So that puts me up to 3 kills on 3700 damage. Now bear in mind that the XP total in this game is probably not going to be the highest ever. Because I'm not really doing any spotting for myself. And I'm pretty much relying completely on other people spotting for me. So that I can get the damage out. Now at this point I know there's an object 257 back there. But no one else has spotted him yet. So no one else knows where that tank is. Sorry I just got to cut that out a wee bit. So I was just pinging the map there just to let people know that the object 25 2257 is back there so that people aren't just running straight into a really powerful tier 9 heavy tank. So the object 257 appears to be AFK which is kind of strange because he shot me earlier on in the game but maybe like he, he 
had something come up or maybe he was alt tabbed or something and he's just kind of sitting there while people just drill shots into him it's kind of weird because it's such a powerful tier 9 heavy tank and it seems like a really weird way to take it out because if, if he had close distance there he could have easily held out a lot longer than he actually did but he was definitely AFK. He, he didn't even move his turret during, during that entire engagement there. And now there I can see an Oho back there and this is where the idea of this mission comes into my head. So I have a mission right now to do 4000 damage, I've already done that part, and get 3 kills on heavy tanks. So I noticed this, that there's two, still 2 heavy tanks alive on the enemy team and I actually try to get the kill on this Oho. Whenever, whenever I managed to get that kill my immediate thought was, oh I could actually do this mission. So, you're going to see here in a minute that I'm going to actually say that is it possible for me to get for me to get this kill? Like, can I have this kill? And unfortunately, the team is not going to give it to me, which is understandable because, well, why would you give a, why would you give a kill to some random dude asking for a kill? <laughs> for all they know, I was just trying to go for a top gun. Yeah, see, you can see there, you need to kill two two double seven for uh, for mission, and yeah, the two five sevens are going to come up right behind that object two double seven. And 257 managed to kneel kill on that guy, finish him off. So, unfortunately, don't get that mission completed there today. But, it was still a really solid game in a tier 9 tech destroyer, which I'm still getting used to. But, so far, I've actually had a decent, num a decent amount of fun in this thing. So, that game was worth 1100 base XP for the 5104 damage that I did with 5 kills. So, initially, that XP total seems actually really low for an ace tanker on a tier 9 vehicle. But, whenever you think about it, it actually kind of makes sense because. This vehicle here, unlike the Borsig, you cannot play at point blank range. It's too big for that, and its gun depression is not good enough for that as well. Because because it's a slightly taller tank, the gun depression being about the same affects it pretty badly. And actually, one thing I forgot to mention near the start of this game is if you're using the 128 millimeter, if you try to depress the gun over the front, you have two degrees of gun depression. It's only to the sides that you have the five degrees of gun depression. So. In comparison to the Yag Tiger, in a lot of ways, this thing is a lot more awkward, but having the full turret definitely makes up for that. But back on topic here. So, if you think about it, this thing here never being able to play at point blank range and only being able to really do damage off of other people's spotting, it makes that 1,144 or 1,140 XP make a lot of sense because you can't spot for yourself because otherwise, if you do spot your if you do spot for yourself, you're going to end up dead very quickly, and you kind of just want to sit back as long as possible until like the late game where you can sometimes close the distance and try and do a wee bit of spotting yourself but you want to try and keep that to a minimum to a minimum if at all possible because otherwise you'll end up dead at the very very start which I do see happen from time to time so yeah overall this tank is actually a pretty interesting vehicle to play and it's definitely an interesting play style to try and get back into so let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one